So you're welcome to our channel of Skills Learning Network. Subscribe our channel, allow notification for the coming lesson. Today we proceed with the physics practical experiment number one. In previous we look about the source of errors and the precautions. If it is you are not, you are not ready for, for that video or for that lesson, subscribe you will see all videos in physics, chemistry, even biology practicals so we proceed with the experiment number one in physics practical and today you see we are going to to verify the ohm's law the aim of experiment is to verify ohm's law and you see how this question have been solved the apparatus evolved on verification of ohm's law I think you know how the Ohm's law is stated. By reminding you that the Ohm's law said that the current, the voltage, the current is directly, or the voltage, or the current flowing through a conductor is direct proportional to the voltage across it. it. But there is a constant which remain within that the flowing of the current. If there is a constant resistance, we mean that there is a direct proportion with the current and the voltage. When the voltage increase, the current flowing also will increase. That is the concept about the Ohm's law. Apparatus you have provided with the voltmeter, ammeter, variable resistor, we can say this is a real start source of source of power or direct current collecting wire and a known resistor and also we have a switch that is our apparatus you can use to verify Ohm's law procedure the first one connect a switch on ammeter unknown resistor and the variable resistor to the source of power or DC in a series. A source of power is, you can say, it is a cell or battery. Battery composed two cell. So we can use one cell or a battery or two cells. So you connect with the ammeter, anode resistor, variable resistor or rheostat in series. Then after connection of the series, you have to connect voltmeter across the unknown resistor. It means the voltmeter will be parallel with the unknown resistor. Let's you see the diagram below here. We have a cell or power, EMF or electromotive force, or we can say this is battery. We have rheostat, we have ammeter, and we have R which is unknown resistor and we have voltmeter. You see the connection is that one. There is a parallel. Those are in series, real start cell, ammeter, and the resistor are in series, but voltmeter is parallel with the resistor. That is our circuit diagram. And then another procedure, record the readings of the ammeter and the voltmeter immediately when a switch is closed. After connection of this one, you put a battery or a cell, yes that is a battery, then you close the switch and then you will record the readings, readings from the ammeter and the voltmeter. That is the first data. Repeat the experiment by varying resistance or variable resistor so as to get the five readings which is different of what and the current so you adjust the the rheostat 
to get at least five readings which are different and then record the value v and i in tabular form then plot the graph of potential difference against the current and explain the nature of the graph that is the procedure but within the easy questions our graph is the potential difference which is v against the current which is i and they, after plotting the graph explain the nature of the graph another question finally the slope of the graph and uh, from the experiment what is the physical meaning of the slope you have to state after calculating the slope you are looking the SI unit I set the SI unit of the slope in in there above you calculated the the, the slope so what is the SI unit uh, that is our questions after looking the procedure and the questions let's we proceed with the answers let's check the nature of the graph that is our graph and our graph is passing through origin in the straight line and you have to plot the graph with the, this structure you have to consider the scale a type of the graph axis of y and the x or horizontal and vertical axis that is our our graph then after that one the nature of the graph is a straight line indicating that the potential difference is directly proportional to the current in the straight line passing through origin with the positive in with the positive slope the slope from the graph the slope is equal to change in v or potential difference and against the change in current in ampere that is the si unit it means potential difference against the current and uh, after locating the point you have to calculate the slope the value of the slope is equal to 2 1.25 ohm that is si unit of si unit of slope from the experiment the physical meaning of the slope is resistance according to our unit of the slope and that the physical meaning of the, the slope is resistance and the SI unit of the slope is home that is our question and that you have to perform the verification of Ohm's law the data is not shown but it cannot be constant it depends the the magnitude magnitude of the of the voltage to to give a current so is not the, the issue of displaying here in this video but uh, you can perform by looking the connection by passing through procedure i think you'll understand this uh, lesson i think you have understand that uh, we start with the experiment number one for the coming lesson we will see experiment number two and uh, generally make sure you note how to drive the nature of the graph we have many graphs within this channel so subscribe our channel share this knowledge and allow notification for the coming lesson experiment number two thank you for learning with me my name is technologist or technologist scientific technologist jawadu maguru you are welcome